All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start by taking the air vent, which uh, a couple clips. Now, some of the clips that I have, or any uh, screws that I, my car may have, are gonna be different than the ones that you guys have. But we're gonna go ahead and start taking this out. All right, once you got those off, it just pretty much comes out that easy. Then you got the air vent out. I'll put it to the side. And now for me, I believe it's a T, T10 or T20. So we're gonna remove this. But let's not forget, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the MAF sensor. And then lose in this one, lose this one, and this one, and the box should come out. All right guys, I took the upper one and as you guys can see, super cracked, especially the bottom section. I got all that. But, and then we got the top one. It's pretty cracked up there. So now let's get the lower one. And uh, like I mentioned, the lower ones, this one's gonna be a little hard now. You can't really get it with the flathead. We're actually gonna use a, I'm gonna use my small ratchet to try to remove it. So I'll show you guys right now. Where, let me get my light. So we're gonna have to remove that one. And there's one. What's in? It's right there, but that one's gonna be hard. But you, it's the last one's gonna be more of a trying to feel it. But I'll show you guys right now. All right, guys. So I went ahead and removed. Um, oh man, I forgot. I forgot the name of this one. But I went ahead and removed it. I'll put it somewhere around here. The name of it. So I went ahead and removed it. It's uh, it's pretty easy. So you need a T, what is it, a T40, and um, like I said, it's just only two of them, one here, and one up there, that's it, so we're going to go ahead and remove those, once you get that, and then you get access, so you see one there, and the one down there, now this is a good time to go ahead and clean it, I got some um, I went to Walmart and I picked up myself some 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 carb cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. And now that I'm this deep, I'm actually gonna take out the the oh man. It's uh I'll, I'll show you guys, but it's that little one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and use some carb cleaner. And get all that junk out so I'll show you guys now so we're gonna go ahead and remove two um, two clamps I want to get that loose just wiggle it until it comes out and yeah it's that easy guys look at all that it, this one's cracked it's even cracked from inside so it was a must to replace the lower one and the upper one so we'll go ahead and replace those um, now, the one that I'm going to clean, I mean, you know, I'm already deep by the throttle body, so we're going to go ahead and clean that as well with the carb cleaner. So, I'll go ahead and clean that. You guys, I want to say you guys should do it because you guys made it this far. So go ahead and clean it and I'm going to start putting everything back. It's going to be the same order. I don't think I got to show you guys, but I'll show you guys the final product. You know, the same way we took this out, we took this one out. Then we're going to put this back in, tie it down. We put the upper boot, you know, but I'll try to show you guys how, how it's coming along. All right, same thing. It's easy for this one. This is the little guy. I'll put the name of it. Uh, I cleaned it. I want to say like two years ago so once this gets stuck your card will sound weird and you'll press the gas and know it'll be like the throttle will be stuck 
So this is one little guy that you want to clean. Clean it as good as you can. Not that we, you know, replacing all of this. So it's this one and the throttle body that I'm going to go ahead and clean. So this little guy and the throttle body right there. All right, guys, as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner on both ends. So this one is clean. And you can see all that junk right there. All right, but you guys get an idea of what we're cleaning. We're cleaning this one throttle body and uh, that what it was called the uh, e egr valve one of those two but like i said i'll put it while we're cleaning all right guys i got this one clean looks way better we can actually see the gasket now so we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything back like i said i'll try to show step by step but should be easy the same way we took them out it's gonna be the same way we're gonna put everything back in all right guys, so here we got the parts from FCP Euro. If you guys are looking for the, what is it? For the code, there's the code. There's the code. So that's the lower one and the upper one. Now, sadly, I am gonna have to reuse the old ones. They suck, but for now, um, they didn't come with the clamps and uh, it did say that there now what i'm doing is uh, i bought some there i bought some four inch they go up to two inch so there there'll be a little upgrade for this ones so you guys may want to buy new ones uh, uh i wasn't sure i didn't pay attention if they sold if they sold them on fcp which i'm sure they do but I went ahead and bought, this one's uh, different. It wasn't from FCP Euro. I mean, they're, cause they're banned. They're gonna last you forever. Um, so you guys wanna keep in mind, you guys will need some um, clamps. All right guys, so I got the boot and um, the other piece in. So everything's tight. So make sure you put the boot first, tie everything. Then you put the second piece and then you put the boot in. Looks good everything fresh now we're gonna go ahead and install the second piece which will be this one so we'll go in and we'll just put the clamp on top so just be like this all right let's get to it all right guys so we're this pretty much almost done um everything's tied just make sure whatever you took out everything goes back the same way but everything is good so everything all right guys so this is pretty much it all boots are together now the second one don't tie it until you put the air box because if you tie it and it's this way you're gonna put stress on it so just wait until we put the box on then will be the final part but here we have the old ones throw them away and like I always mentioned put a date on it so that way you don't forget what day you install them but so far so good guys everything's coming along now go ahead and show the final product but take your time don't rush it make sure everything's tight and we'll go from there and we are set guys everything it's back together got the filters the intakes all connected together, everything's tied up, double check everything, so we're all set on that, now just make sure you check, like I said, everything, once you're tying everything, so just should be nice and simple, the way you took it out should be the same way you take it, you put it back in, now for me, it was a lot easier because I have done that, but I'll put, so like I mentioned, I'll put the parts, of what I was removing of how to remove the intake upper boot and the lower boot and um, this one the I believe it was called the diesel valve or something like that 
but don't quote me on that. I'll put the names once I'm changing them, but that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. So, good luck. If you guys have any questions on how to remove all of that, just comment down below and I'll get to you guys ASAP. Alright, guys. Peace out.